When she got over to where Isaac Schumann's group was, they made it readily apparent they did not want you over by them, correct? That's not true. They didn't call you names? Yes, but they, they asked me what I was looking for. And I thought they were polite people. I said, I'm looking for my uh, lost phone. They, they did not want you by them, and they told you that, right? At some point, yes. And that's the short video. You turn around and you're walking away, right? Yes. But then Juan Cockfield calls you a raper, right? Yes. And then you turn around. Yes. And you were angry. I was not angry. You were not angry that someone called you a raper? No. All right. You look at Juwan, who's filming you, right? Yeah. And for some reason, your testimony is that even though many people on the river have these phones and these float cases, you decided that was the phone and you needed to run up and check. Objection argumentative. Sustained. Your testimony earlier was you thought he had the phone, right? I thought he had the phone, yes. Right. I wanted to investigate. And you, instead of walking up and saying, hey, is that the phone I'm looking for? You ran up on these boys, didn't you? I ran up and stumbled, and then I fell right by, by there, yes. That's my next question. You're claiming now that you stumbled. Yes. You've never said that before today, ever, to anybody, any law enforcement or anybody else. Right? But I have seen the videos now. Well, we're going to take a look at the video. And since you reviewed the video, you know that before you ran up on them, you were touching your knife in your pocket to make sure it was there, right? I don't remember that. All right, well, let's take a look. That's you with your right hand touching your pocket where your knife was clipped in, right? It appears so. <coughs> what is he on? Whoa! 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 So you're claiming today that where you reach down and grab at these boys' legs where their tubes are, that that was a stumble. Is that your story? Overruled. You can answer the question. I, I, I know I hit a stone, yes. But I, I, I grabbed onto their uh, uh, inner tubes. And you know where you grabbed onto their inner tube is where two of these boys had their legs draped over their inner tubes, right? I see that. And you made contact with their legs, didn't you? I don't remember that. Did you see it on the video? I see it on the video. I don't remember actually making contact. And as soon as you did that, these boys jumped out of their tubes to get away from you, right? You remember that? Yeah. And you held on to their tubes so that their tubes couldn't float away. For how long? Well, I'm asking you. You did. Yeah, it looks like for a brief one second. And you were searching through their tubes. For what? You walked around their tubes. Rather than letting their tubes go so they could get back in their tubes and be on their way, you walked around their tubes. So after my goggles dropped in the water, I went around their tubes to go to the other side and look for, for, for my goggles. Let's talk about your goggles for a second because you told the police, specifically Lieutenant Hart, that these boys knocked your goggles off your face and that you were looking for your goggles at that point, right? I don't remember my uh, interview with her, correct? But you heard yourself say it in the interview. Yes, yes. And in fact, that nothing of the sort ever happened, right? So the, the interview with, with, uh, with uh, Brandy Hart was not accurate. 
what you said at the time is what you wanted the police to believe happened, right? That's what I remembered okay. at the time. And from the video, you can see that you actually put your goggles in your mouth so you would have two free hands to be able to grab onto these boys' tubes, right? Yes. So you were preparing for your stumble before it actually even happened? I wasn't prepared for anything. These boys were calling you names to go away, right? After you grabbed onto their tubes, touched their legs. I they... don't remember any of that stuff. All right, you but, don't remember them calling but, you, asking you what you were doing? Watching the videos, yes, but before, but unnatural remembering, no. Uh, do you remember as you're running up, they're saying, whoa, 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 what's he doing? I don't remember that. All right, but you've seen it on the video? Yes. And then once you've made contact with two of these boys' legs and grabbed onto their tubes, they started calling you a pedophile, right? I don't remember when they started calling okay. me. Pedophile. Do you remember them calling you a pedophile at all? Or do you just know that from watching the video? Correct. You testified that they were calling you names earlier, right? Right. And that upset you? It did not upset me. Okay. We've talked, your attorneys talked about your comfort scale and your fear scale. Let's talk about your anger scale, okay? Mm -hmm. At the time you were called a raper, what was your anger scale at? Maybe one. One out of ten? Yeah. And that was enough to get you to run up on these boys, grab onto them, stop their tubes at a one. Is that what you're saying? Objection, argument. Not been, uh, sustained. You don't like being humiliated, right? Nobody does. Your attorney has said that these boys were humiliating you. Objection as to his income. Sustained on the form. You're claiming that you were being taunted? Objection. He did not testify. Sustained. Form. You had testified earlier that your shoes, there was problems with your shoes, but as you can see from the portion of the video we played so far, that didn't, those shoes didn't prevent you from running up on these boys, right? Yes, they did. That was, if I had better shoes, you know, I could walk better, but I, I could still walk. If you had better shoes, you would have been able to run up on them faster? No, I mean, I could walk better. I wouldn't stumble. I wouldn't have a hard time walking. All right, we're going to watch the video again, and I want you to, if you can, point out for everybody where you stumbled. What is he on? Whoa! 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 Did you watch it? Yes. So the stumble, is that something you remember or something that you think you see in the video? Something I, I remember. After you grabbed onto their tubes, stopped them, walked around their, their tubes, you took a few steps down river and stood in the path they were floating in, right? Has to form multiple. Overall. You understand the question, Mr. Mew? Could you say it again? After you left their tubes that mm -hmm. first time, you took a few steps downstream and stood in their path where they would need to float, where they were floating, right? For a few seconds, yes. You didn't walk off to the south shore, which was close at that point, right? I, I thought I walked farther, far away from them that they, I mean, I didn't even watch them anymore at that point. So I don't know where they were in, in uh, you know, at that point in time. But I was still looking for my goggles now. 